know guys, last week marked the 30 year anniversary of one of the greatest metal records of all time ever of all time, Master of Puppets by Metallica. Let's celebrate by doing a little bit of wanking on Kirk's main solo from the classic title track. Hey there, children, and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wet Shop here with your good pal, Uncle Ben. I don't think I need to explain to you guys why Master of Puppets is one of the best metal records of all time. It made a really huge impact on me as a young Ben Eller and really helped me refine and hone my rhythm guitar playing skills to the sharpest edge possible. The lick that we're taking a look at today is the one that Kirk Anders is solo with at 5 minutes and 42 seconds into the song. Really cool, kind of arpeggio based lick with some tremolo picking and bends and a little bit of legato there at the end. Very cool stuff. There's one lick in there that I was never able to get sounding exactly right, and I actually went across YouTube and found the isolated guitar tracks so I can hear just that guitar uh, on its own soloed out. And I found that there's something really weird happening in it on this one part right after he does that bend from D to E in there. It's really odd. I'll show you what I'm talking about later on in the video. But before we get into it, let's hear it again at step band speed. And as always, you can find full tabs for this week's lick on my Instagram page. So be sure to go over to Instagram, look for Ben Eller Guitars, find the tab for this week's lick, and learn how to shred through it. Uh, also, be sure to upload a video of yourself playing it with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. <laughs> so that's the lick that Kirk is starting this off with. Sometimes I see people play it with all picked notes. Sometimes I see people play it with more legato than what I'm doing. I think it's kind of a combination of both. That's Kirk's usual sort of thing. He's not like a um, you know, Paul Gilbert level alternate picking kind of demon. So I would assume that he's using a little bit of both in this lick. Start off with your 17th fret high E pulling off to 12. Next on the B string play 13, 12, and hammer back on to 13. So notice I didn't pick that last note. I just picked the first note on the E and the first two notes on the B. Then the last note in the lick is going to be the 12th fret high E string. So that's triplet, triplet, as far as timing wise. So you're doing kind of some triplet sort of feel licks over there. Okay, so you repeat that lick three times in a row. And then the fourth time through, what you're going to do is play the exact same thing, right? But instead of going 17 to 12, do 15 to 12. It's like a C major 7 arpeggio. But yeah, so anyway, so you got the normal one three times. One, two, three, then the different one. Picking wise, I can't swear to what Kirk is doing here, but what I like to do is start with an upstroke, then I'll go down, up, hammer on, and then play the last note of the high E string here with a downstroke. So that's up, down, up, down. Doing that last downstroke right there means that my next stroke is gonna be an up, which starts over the lip perfectly. That's my thing though, your mileage may vary. The next thing that he does is repeat everything again, almost exactly the same. It's only different here because the riff that's going on behind it has this odd measure of three at the very end of it. So he doesn't have time to do this at the end like he did last time, he just has time to go to the very first three notes of that lick. Okay, so the first time through it's exactly like what we just learned. The second time through it's gonna go like this. Through the normal arpeggio three times, just like before. Here's where it gets different. So notice I just did 15, pull off to 12, 13th B, and that's all you have time for because of that kind of cut short measure that's going on behind it. So all together so far we got this. Next is the tremolo pick sequence that goes across the high E string. Now what I like to do whenever I'm tremolo picking these things 
is in order to prevent making a ton of noise on these low strings that'll sympathetically vibrate and stuff just because of the fact that when you're tremolo picking you kind of tend to hit the string pretty hard and obviously it's very rapid it can cause a lot of noise on these low strings so what I do a lot of times is I will kind of anchor my hand down on these low strings. So basically across the top four or five strings of the guitar. See how I've kind of got the inside of my thumb area resting right here? It keeps those quiet, plus gives me a fulcrum point so I can just kind of vibrate that picking hand. This is kind of more coming from the elbow than it is the wrist. It's very difficult to move your wrist that fast back and forth. So a lot of times if you can just kind of anchor and vibrate that elbow, you'll get a good tremolo picking thing going on. Tremolo picking doesn't have to be any specific timing thing, so don't worry about it if you're not doing 16th note triplets or 32nd notes or whatever. It's just fast. Here's the path that you're going to be following as you tremolo pick through. You're going to start off on the high E string here on 19, 17, 15, 14, 17, 15, 14, and then the last note that you play is the 15th B. So there's one note on there where you're going to have to kind of jump across the strings with your tremolo picking. So again, that melody was... And one more time with the tremolo pick. Just like that. After you land on that D note on the B string, what you're going to do is to play the uh, 17th fret B string here and give it two whole set bends in a row, just like that. So I'm bending from E to F sharp. Now this is where it gets a little weird because the lick that he plays after this is kind of like this right here. I'm playing the 17th fret B, pulling off to 15, pulling off to 14, and then playing the 17th fret high E string. Now that's what I usually see in tabs and stuff, and that's how I usually see people play it, but there's something kind of fishy going on right here. Check this out. Okay, so here on the YouTube is I've gone to username Metallica Fan Videos, and I've pulled up the isolated guitar track from Master of Puppets. This is really cool because it's just a rhythm guitar track in the lead track, so you can hear everything that's going on really clearly. Let's fast forward to the part that I'm talking about with this really strange sound in it. All right, I've got it right here exactly where the lick is with the two whole step bends, and there's the little legato lick on the B string. And then listen to whenever he hits the 17th fret high E string, you're gonna hear this really weird squawk right here. Did you hear that? Let's check it out again. It's not necessarily a very strong sounding note. It's really strange. And what I'm guessing happens is right here is it's actually the sound of him pulling the high E string slightly down off of the fretboard of the guitar. If you ever tried to do some pull-offs on those high strings, sometimes you'll notice your uh, force of the pull-off will pull that string down off of the edge of the board and it'll make a really weird squawk sound. Let me demonstrate. You know how that made that really nasty high pitch sort of squawk? You kind of lost track of what the original pitch was because it just yanked up out of nowhere. That's what I think is actually happening on that lick. Again, I've always heard people play it and it's never sounded exactly quite right. Uh, but I believe that's what's happening right there is you're hearing the, the string go slightly off of the edge of the fingerboard. Again, this is total conjecture. I will not swear to any of this. But I think what was happening is Kirk was trying to play a lick kind of like this. Or something similar to that. Now the next thing that he does is play another lick way down on this end of the neck. So he's got to make this quick position shift. So if he's trying to do a little legato lick on the high E string, which Kirk does licks like that all the time, it would make sense that if he was kind of concentrating on, oh, I need to get down here, maybe that lick kind of suffered as a result of that and got sort of pulled off the edge of the board. So again, this is entirely conjecture, but that's my take on it. So anyway, the lick is kind of like you got the two whole step bends on the B string, 17. Then on the B, you're gonna play uh, 17, pull on 15, pull on 14. 17th fret high E is kind of what we hear. It kind of slid down and yanked off the edge of the board to get the sound of the record. Really crazy. And after that slide down, what you're going to play here is the 12th fret high E string, pulling off to 10, pulling off to 9. And then you're going to play B string 12 and 10. Again, very, very typical Kirk Kamek kind of legato and picking lick like that. Crazy. Listen to that isolated guitar track and you'll hear exactly what I'm saying. It doesn't sound like a pure note on that 17th fret high E string. There's this weird yelp that happens right there. Again, I'm entirely guessing about that, but that is my uneducated opinion. So once more all together, we start off with our arpeggiated licks, then the short one, tremolo picking, this is going to be followed by those bends. 
the whatever licks. And then that very last one to get you out of there. Cool. So there you go, kids. The intro licked to one of the sickest solos on one of the sickest metal records of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you goes out to Metallica for making one of the records that truly did change my life in the course of my guitar playing forever. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Ben Eller Guitars. Also, if you'd like to ask about some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, drop me an email, BenElderGuitars at gmail.com. I'll get back with you about rates and times and all that other good stuff. Stay tuned for more cool stuff next week where we'll be digging into another sick lit. Thank you guys again so much, and I'll see you then. Cheers.